Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop, and this is a follow-up uh, video uh, on the TLR6 that's designed to fit your Glock 17, 19, 26, and of course the 27, 23, 22, or the 31, 32, 33, all right? So these uh, uh, are great lights because, as I said on the previous video, uh, they're ergonomically attractive to look like they actually grew on your Glock. And uh, they're easy to operate, just a single uh, button to push and push on, push off. This one has the laser and light. You may not see the laser because the light's gonna blow it out, but I'll shine the laser in the camera lens and you should be able to see that laser there. So that said, um, I like this light a lot. It's really, really sleek, it's comfortable, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's a perfect self-defense and concealed carry light because of the size, the weight, and the fact that um, uh, it doesn't add a lot of bulk to the gun. However, it's difficult to find a holster for this. So we, of course, started making holsters, and it's become very, very popular. And that's why I wanted to follow up on this video because uh, some of the questions we get are people saying, well, I've got a Gen 5, will that work for a Gen 5? Yes. Gen 4, yes. Gen 3, yes. It works for all generations 3, 4, and 5. Uh, this particular light is on a Glock 19. It has uh, rails, so you're going to notice it has a small little rail bite right up here. If you look right here, you just see how this plastic has a little indent there and it kind of biting on the rails. It also is screwed around and, and held tight on the actual trigger guard itself. And I do a complete assembly uh, of this piece and installation of this piece on the previous video, the one that should be on the same page here. Uh, I just want to go ahead and follow up uh, so that you would be able to see uh, that the holster combina combination that we sell is such a great package. I mean, look at that. Holds the gun, covers the trigger guard, light is available, and light's on, and then light's off. And we talked about the tactical application of this light uh, for um, uh, you're not going to use the light for wayfinding. It's really identifying targets. So if you wanted to identify your target and remain concealed yourself, you would hold the light on, flash on, and then let it go, and it flashes off. Again, you're not going to use this for wayfinding, but if you wanted to leave the light on, you would just tap it, and it would just stay on. All right? And it stays on without having to mess with it at all tap it again, it goes off. To change uh, from light only to light laser to laser only, you basically manipulate the uh, buttons on the side. And there's instructions, of course, inside there, but you just hold down and, and, and flip through the, uh, the modes. Pretty simple. Uh, what I really wanted to show you, though, is the, is the combo package that we sell. The combo package of the uh, holster and the light itself. And we sell a ton of these, and I, I, you know, some of the questions I've started to see are people are asking, well, I've got a Gen 4, what work for Gen 4? Yes, it will work for your Gen 4. This is a Gen 4 Glock 19. Gen 5, yes, it's going to work for your Glock 5, Gen 5 19, whether it be a 19 or a 17. Same concept, same uh, concept of the light. It's designed to look like a fit. It's very ergonomic, easy to operate, easy to manipulate. I do it with the, either the left thumb is uh, typically how I'll turn the light on and off versus the trigger finger. And um, you can see it's almost designed just for that. If you think about it, if you have the proper grip, your thumb is right there anyways. Should be right there. Could be up a little higher, but you can also just drop it right down onto the button to be able to manipulate that. So it really doesn't interfere with your grip at all. It actually enhances your grip because it will place your hands in the right place. Because if, if your thumb is pointed down range like, a, like that, that's, that's the proper grip, that left thumb. I have a lot of people I see, they want to put their thumb back here. They don't know what to do with that thumb. It goes underneath, like so. And that's if you can manipulate that button with your thumb, you've got long thumbs. Because <laughs> I think I've got long thumbs, I don't know. But anyways, that's kind of the concept. Uh, this uh, being the uh, TLR6 with the holster combo. And um, let's go into the range now, and we'll go ahead and do some... Uh, demonstration. But first, let me do tell you this real quick. It is available, like I said, for Glock 17, Glock 19. It also is available, and this is really where it comes into play, uh, for your Glock uh, 26. Okay, now the 26 does not have rails. 
So it could be a Gen 3 or Gen 4, Gen 5, doesn't matter. It doesn't have rails. Because it doesn't have rails, uh, this particular holster and uh, light combo, light laser combo, is really the best option because it attaches, like I said, same way as this one does, to the trigger guard. It doesn't need a rail. And because of that, that's really one of the only options you have is this TLR6. Uh, and again, we make a holster for it. That's really the key is you have this thing, you definitely want to be able to holster it and wear it. These holsters are great. I'll demonstrate this more, but you notice that clip is very strong, right? So inside the waistband, it just goes right in. Remember, I'm right-handed, so I ordered a left-hand holster. I, I got a left-handed holster because I want to wear it inside the waistband. I'll de demonstrate more of that in the range here. Uh, if I was just going to go to the car and I just wanted to hang it on my belt, I could clip it right on my belt. It'd be very easy, just like so. And then the key is to be able to take it off very easy, too. This, the clip is st stout enough to support the gun with the laser and the light the whole bit. Uh, it's a very comfortable uh, holster, uh, easy and uh, it works, I mean, that's the key, and it works for your laser light, and that's what's gonna be really important because you're not gonna find a holster out there to be able to, uh, to manage this as a package. So we do sell it as a combo. We sell the light by itself, we sell the holster by itself, and then we sell them as a combo, the light and the laser together with the holster. All right, so let's go to the range. Like I said, we'll demonstrate some concealed carry techniques using this holster and this light laser combo. All right, we're inside the indoor range here in our San Diego facility. And uh, for those of you who are paying attention, you'll also notice that I've got the new Nashville shirt on. So that's coming soon to Nashville here uh, in about nine months from right now. So that's coming exciting. Now, what we're here to talk about is the light, the TLR6 uh, and holster combination that we have and that we offer. And in fact, if you're really paying attention, you'll notice I actually have it on. And again, what I really like about this holster is the fact that it's an inside the waistband clip holster. Uh, as I've said to you before, you can wear it on the outside, okay? It's not the most secure. Uh, it does work, but at the end of the day, uh, uh, this is, you know, I prefer to wear this on the inside. So here it is out, outside. Uh, again, uh, I'm right-handed. This is a left-handed holster. I'm going to put it on the inside and just take it and pop it in my pants and attach the clip around the belt. Now, the nice thing about an inside the waistband holster is that it is buried. Now, I've got a body style that I can actually wear it in this, what they call the appendix carry. A lot of guys will also wear them in the kidney carry. Uh, I like the appendix carry because, you know, the gun is close. I can control it. Plus, I can get to it relatively quickly. All right. So the idea uh, for drawing is to be able to come up with a scenario where you're able to clear the clothes, access the gun, get a good grip, and then come out fast and then access the target. Remember, the nice thing about this light combination is that I can control the light from either side, and I've got it set up here with a light laser, and I'll go ahead and point it right to the camera so you can see the laser is on. So the idea is that uh, you, know, you can come up, flash the target, and then let it go. So flash, let it go, then move. Flash, let it go and move. So what you're doing with that is you're actually blinding the subject uh, and then moving out of the line of fire in case they have a weapon. More than likely they do for you to be able to draw your gun. They have to be a, a threat to you. So uh, uh, the, the ability to flash on and flash off is very important tactically. All right. So holstering technique, finger off of the trigger, out of the trigger guard area, thumb on top of the slide, and now we're just going to go ahead and place it directly into the gun and conceal, just like that. So it's a pretty good package. This is something you'd wear. That's why I, I put the t-shirt on, because it's something you'd be out and about. The nice thing about an inside the waistband holster is you can actually conceal it very nicely, whether it's back here. This is my phone holster, by the way. I can conceal that as well. <laughs> but I like to keep it out so I can actually get to the phone pretty quick. It's ringing right now. But that's another story. OK. so. Again, to draw, up, boom, and down. And now we reholster over here. So again, draw, we're coming up. Now, you can't expect to be super fast when you are drawing from concealment. So that's not the objective. The objective with concealment is to actually have a gun as you go about your day-to-day -day business. If something does happen, you're prepared. 
Now, something that happens could be, you know, a little farther away, you're in a store and something happens and, and you're not in front of a threat. If you have a bad guy who's got a gun right on you and you've got a concealed weapon and you're, you know, five, six feet apart, you're not going to outdraw him. I mean, he's got the gun out. So the, the concept is, is that you would only access the gun if, in fact, there was a deadly threat, which means that someone out there is harming people with a firearm or some other deadly weapon that allows you to pull your gun. If there's a fist fight, you really can't pull a gun out. That's escalating the violence, and you'll get in trouble with that. So be aware of the responsibilities of a concealed carry person that you don't just pull the gun out because you happen to have it. It's the last resort. Sometimes you may not get involved. If it's a domestic argument, you know, chances are, unless he's gonna about to kill that other person, or she's about to kill him, <laughs> uh, you really can't pull a gun out of your, your, your holster to stop the fight, in a sense, or to calm it down, quote unquote. It really can only come out of the holster when there's a direct threat to your life or someone close to you in your general area. A direct threat to your life, not your property, but you have to say to yourself, is this person going to kill me if I don't pull this gun out? All right. Let's go ahead and do a couple of draws, and, and we'll actually shoot here real quick. Let me put my eyes and ears on. We'll get our, our uh, sound uh, uh, with our air going. All right. So when you draw from concealment, you always want to make sure your finger's off the trigger until you get up to the target. That's the key. All right. And I'll charge up the handle. Now, thumb on top of the slide, finger out of there. This is very important. You always keep your finger away from the trigger when you're reholstering. All right, draw, we come up, boom. Very simple. Easy. And again. Easy stuff. And last but not least, we drop the magazine. Empty that last round, make sure it's empty. Now watch this, we're gonna put the holster, the gun in the holster, and then we're gonna grab the whole holster and take it out. And the nice thing I like about this holster is you just leave the gun in there and put it down on the table. It's safe. And that's what's really cool about this holster light combination. Okay, we know that the light looks like it grew there. Okay, same plastic. Nice ergonomic shape, easy on, easy off. You can access the batteries without taking it off. It's a really neat design. Light and laser combo. Holster, good retention, covers the trigger guard. Easy on and off. And that's it. So if you're looking for a light laser combo, we've got it here at the Glock store.